Question 2, A part 1. Complete the table with the maximum oxidation number for the elements which react with the chlorine to form chlorine. So we know that sodium after reacts with chlorine will form sodium chloride. Magnesium will form magnesium chloride. Aluminium Okay, we'll form aluminum chloride, AlCl3. Silicon will form SiCl4. P, uh, phosphorus will form PCl5. And the oxidation number for the sodium in the compound is positive 1. Magnesium is positive 2. Because in this chloride, all this compound, the most electro negative elements is chlorine so chlorine now is always negative one so all the elements need to follow the chlorine so when the chlorine is negative one then the sodium let's say is must be positive one to make it neutral so therefore magnesium chloride will be positive two because chlorine now negative one times two is negative two Magnesium must be positive 2. Okay, aluminum, therefore, it will be uh, positive 3. And silicon will be positive 4. Phosphorus will be positive 5. Because here, okay, it's negative 5. Phosphorus must be positive 5 to make it neutral. Okay, so once you complete this table, one mark. Okay, part 2. State what determines the maximum oxidation number for all these elements in period 3. Okay, so this one is quite uh, easy because we know that okay, they are group 1, 2, 13, 14, 15. So this one has 1 valence electron, 2 valence electron, 3 valence electron, 4 and 5 valence electron. Okay, therefore, the numbers of valence electron actually is the key to uh, determine the oxidation number right so the answer is numbers of valence electron okay b an excess cold water is added to chloride of silicon means SiCl4 write an equations uh, uh, between this compound with cold water okay so for this one uh, the stick symbol is not really uh, needed because uh, in the question they were asked but uh, you better get ready, right? Uh, so SiCl4 is liquid, H2O is liquid, SiO2 is a solid, white solid, HCl is the um, fume, the white fume, or misty uh, fume. So it's a gas. So balance equation, one mark. Okay, suggest the pH of the solution. Uh, okay, the allowed range is 1 to 4, but normally we will put 2. 1 or 2 uh, is a better answer. Okay, you need to put the uh, specific number, not, not to put the range. Just put any number between this range. Okay, it's good. Okay, C, part 1. Write the equations for the reactions between the excess cold water and the chloride of phosphorus. Okay, PCl5, again, uh, the stick symbol in this question is not, uh, not really needed, but uh, you also need to get ready. Okay, PCl5 is a solid, H2O liquid, then it will form the phosphoric acid, H3PO4, aqueous. Uh, this one is soluble in water, so it's aqueous. HCl gas, so the uh, white fumes form. Okay, then a balanced equation with the correct uh, products, so you get one mark. Suggest so the pH because uh, the two acids form, right? So you can put one or two, or uh, as long as uh, within one pH one to four. Of course, one pH one or two is a better answer. Okay, D part 1. 
write an equation for the reactions of chlorine with water. This is uh, very easy. So it will form the uh, HOCl, the hypochloric acid, and the hydrochloric acid, HCl. And it's, uh, actually it will form an equilibrium. So means uh, after this uh, acid is formed, it will form back the chlorine and water. Okay, part two, write an equations for the reactions of chlorine with hot NaOH. Uh, this one uh, is quite common nowadays, so you should know it will form this sodium chlorate 5. Right? So the oxidation number for the chlorine is positive 5, so it's sodium chlorate 5. Okay, and of course the, the salt NaCl and the H2O. So as long as it's a balanced equation with the correct products, right? So we can get one mark here. Okay, part E. Bleach is used as a cleaning product to kill bacteria. Okay, so now uh, identify the formula of uh, the ions present in the bleach that kill bacteria. Uh, so it's the chlorate ion. Okay, because it says that formula of ion. So you no need to put sodium chlorate. You just put the chlorate ion, CLO negative. Why? Because CLO negative is an uh, if you produce oxidizing agent. So it means this ion if you uh, dissociate and you form chloride and the oxygen will live as the oxidizing agent to oxidize the bacteria, the membrane. So eventually it can kill the bacteria. Okay, part two. Sodium chloride one NaClO reacts with hydrogen peroxide to produce sodium chloride, water and oxygen. This is very easy because all the products given. So you just put okay, the reactants and products according to the equation, then it's done. Okay, why this one is so easy? Because this part you're going to use that for the later part, for part three. If this part wrong, it will affect the later part. Right. Okay, so now uh, in the part two, what you need to really uh, understand and know is the ratio between the sodium chloride one and the oxygen is one to one ratio. Okay, so for this part three, the calculation is quite, uh, quite uh, standard, but it's a bit complicated because it involves dilution. Okay, so it's mentioned a bleach sample, W, it has unknown concentration of sodium chloride. So you have to find that later. Okay, now 10 cm cube of the W, the sodium chloride solution, now is uh, being diluted. So 10 cm cube now is put into 100 cm cube. Uh, whatever fast is it, it's okay. So 10 cm cube now is diluted to 100 cm cube of the bleach solution. So now, this 100 cm cube bleach solution that prepare, okay, it's take 25 cm cube out and dilute, oh sorry, it's hydrate with the, or it reacts with the H2O2. So the 25 cm cube diluted sodium chloride now is react with H2O2 and in this question, already uh, told you that 42 cm cube of gas will produce. And this 42 cm cube, you have to understand, is oxygen. So first, we no need to calculate the moles of oxygen. So 42 over the molar volume, you get this mole. This is the mole of oxygen produced. From here, we will get the moles of sodium chloride because when we know this one is zero point, uh, sorry, is one point seven five times ten point three, so the sodium chloride will have the same mole because one to one mole ratio. So we know that the sodium chloride in the twenty five cm cube of dilute solution that reacted just now is same mole. And how about? The numbers of moles of sodium chloride in the 10 cm cube that is being uh, diluted. Okay, so because here 25 cm cube is from 100, so the numbers of moles of 100 cm cube must be four times larger than the one that reacted. 
So means here you have to times 4. Because after it's times 4, it's equivalent to the 100 cm cube here. So we will know the amount of the W in the 10 cm cube. So you get 0 0.007. Okay, after that, once you get the, uh, the uh, numbers of mole of the W in 10 cm cube W, so you can use the uh, n equal to mv over 1000 because we, you need to find the concentration. So you just uh, rearrange. So it will be the moles that you obtain, the n times 1000 over 10. The volumes that use is 10 here. Okay, then you get 0 0.7 mole per dm cube. Okay, so first, uh, you have to uh, convert it. Now, this is a challenging part. You have to convert from the mole per dm cube to gram per dm cube. So we know that the mole is equal to mass over molar mass. So you need to Okay, use the molar mass times the mole, then you get the mass in gram. So means 0 0.7 mole per dm cube need to times the molar mass because when mole times molar mass, you get gram. So you get 52.15. So make it 3 SF, you get 52.2 gram per mole. Okay, that's all for this uh, question two. Thank you.